Hello, this is David Corlett with Viper Security here to talk about Site Manager. Today we're going to cover user management, including things like setting up your internal team to protect your tenants and also allowing your tenants to have a peek at their security status. Let's dive right into Site Manager. User management for Site Manager is part of the system, so we'll start by selecting that tab. Under System, you will see a Users section. This is the primary home for user management. Adding users is really easy. Just click on Add User and fill in the user details. If you are creating an account for another user, you can set the password to anything, as long as you have their real email address. The first time they attempt to log in, they can use the password reset feature to set their password. Notice also that each user can either be an admin or an analyst. Admins have broad rights to perform most system functions, such as creating users and sites, but analysts are primarily read-only at the site manager level, although they have rights to manage tenant sites. Speaking of tenant sites, all users that you create at this level will have the ability to single sign on into your tenant sites and perform all the usual site level management tasks such as policy management, agent deployment, and so forth. Now, user management at the site manager level is primarily for your team or for anyone that you want to delegate cross tenant security management to. But there's another level of user management that happens at the per tenant site level. The easiest way to access this per tenant site user level is to simply activate it when you create a new site. Under the Sites tab, <coughs> that is easily done by clicking on Add Site. As you know, you can attach some customer contact data to, your, to the site for your own use, but there's also this magic checkbox just under that field which says Create Read-Only Site User Account for Billing Contact. The effect of checking this box is that a new user account with read-only analyst access will be created for the specified client user at the tenant site level. The resulting user will be able to log in directly to the tenant site, but will not be able to see any other tenants. To make this a bit clearer, notice that if I select a site, like Acme here, and I say go to site, I'm actually going to a different domain entirely. A custom subdomain for this tenant. This tenant site is actually a full-fledged endpoint cloud site with its own URL, user management domain, and data segregation. As a result, if I set up a user at this site, they will be able to access it directly and see only the data for this site. The default option to create a single account for your billing contact to the client is just the starting point. There's nothing stopping you from creating additional client accounts at the tenant site level to your heart's content. For example, although the default is read-only analyst access, you can create admin level accounts for your clients if you want to co-manage the site with them or if you want to delegate administration of that temp site only to some third party. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching.